Greetings, Codex Omnis and fellow YouTubers. Now, before you say to yourself, but you're not Anna, let me introduce myself. My name is Matt. Um, I have known Anna. She's one of my closest friends for quite a few years. Um, and I am subbing for her this Sunday because she's in Chicago. Definitely feel like I got the short end of that stick. A little bit more about me. Um, I, I, as with Anna, I live in, well not with Anna, but along with Anna, I live in the United States, um, specifically Ohio. Uh, some of my interests include art history, theater, language, food, books, Lady Gaga and Doctor Who. Probably not together though. And being barefoot. On to the topic! This week's word of the week is... Lugubrious. Hmm. I'll say that again for you. Lugubrious. Has a nice flavor to it, doesn't it? It means exaggeratedly or affectedly mournful. Um, it's the Latin lugubris from the verb lugare, to mourn, um, akin to the Greek ligros, and that means mournful. So we get that. It's mournful or exaggeratedly mournful. Some synonyms the Merriam-Webster thesaurus had for it are black, bleak, glum, dire, and godforsaken. On to the next segment, which I like to call, What's Matt Reading Now? Do 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 boom! Well, to answer that question, um, you are going to need to throw all of your nerdy, geeky inhibitions to the wind and accept your fate, because I am reading 2001 A Space Odyssey by Arthur C. Clarke. Um, this novel uh, explores the great question of how different, or what are the differences between the man-apes that came before Homo sapiens and, like, the similarities that we share with them, and how different we actually are, how similar we actually are, and also the differences or similarities between the machines, the robots, the artificial intelligence that we've created or that we're working on creating now. Um, and outside of those philosophical ideals, there's also this really great storyline that I'm finding. Now, granted, I'm only three quarters of the way through it, so the last quarter could be awful, and I could hate it, but I'm finding myself loving this book right now, so that's what Matt's reading. Yay! Well, on that note, I'm going to start wrapping up. Um, thank you very much for letting me sub for Anna this week. Um, I hope to see you guys around. Thank you. Bye.